U.S. Army soldier who had been missing for 73 years before his remains were identified a month ago is top of mind today. Corporal Luther Story of America's was killed in action during the Korean War. He was last seen fighting off North Korea attackers before he went missing at the age of 19 in 1950. He was awarded the Medal of Honor for posthumously a year later. He was on the minds and in the hearts of many when Andersonville held its annual Memorial Day event today, the day before his service. WALB News 10's Fallon Howard was at Anderson National Cemetery today. He was from Buena Vista, Georgia, close by. He's one of four Medal of Honor recipients. He'll, he'll, he'll join four Medal of Honor recipients from this area. He enlisted early in the Army was sent to Korea in the early days. One of the veterans pays his respect by placing reefs near the gravesite of those that have lost their lives. Today is a day that every American should pause to give thanks for those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. Okay, We wouldn't be here if we did not have veterans. We would not have a country if we did not have veterans. Many of the veterans who are buried here at the Andersonville National Cemetery are those that fought in the Civil War. Organizers tell me that today's event is an honor to celebrate those here. Charles Smith, post commander for Post 2, is a veteran himself and says now is his turn to pay it forward for those that have sacrificed their life. Veteran is the most important thing in my life now. I've served my country 20 years. Now I want to take care of the ones that are coming up behind me and the ones that have served and the ones that gave all. This is the one that really feels like just I, I get an absolute sense of honor to be able to tell this story. Keynote speaker Rob Choppa leaves people with one message as they honor all veterans. The importance of going to a grave site here, finding someone who you don't know, writing down their name, looking it up, and then honoring them, and then repeating it na next year. An even bigger crowd is expected at Andersonville National Cemetery on Monday when Corporal Luther's story will be interred. 73 years after he was declared missing during the Korean War. Fallon Howard, WALB, your hometown news source.